Hi, this is Toby with HMC Electronics. Let's take a look at the Mantis Compact from Vision Engineering. We will start off with a general overview of the Mantis Compact and its rather unique design that you see right out of the gate. Uh, there are no eyepieces. There is this viewing window uh, through which you see your, your magnified product. So rather than sitting and staring into two eyepieces, you're simply sitting and uh, looking through this window and seeing a crystal clear image of your product. As far as any adjustments, if you think about on a microscope, you'll have the eyepieces, the turrets that need to be adjusted in and out for your interpupillary distance uh, and comfort. Uh, on the vision unit, you've just got that one dial here. Adjust it for the operator. Once it's set, it's set, it's good. You just look down through and you've got a perfect crystal clear image. Uh, one thing to note is, like with all other microscopes that are out there, your spacing between the board and the lens is a fixed distance. So uh, spend some time getting your height from your product uh, set up. Uh, the 2x has a different working distance than the 4, 6, and 8x. And in fact, those are all the lenses that are available with this unit. Taking a look at the lenses now, they are interchangeable by locking in and locking out from under here. Simply taking your lens, lining it up, and it's nice and solid and in place. One thing worth noting is the price listed for a vision system never includes the cost of a lens. Uh, you can spend anywhere from on the compact a couple hundred through to a few hundred dollars for a lens, and we'll sure to show those up on the screen for you along with their part numbers. With the Mantis Compact, changing of magnification is done by simply removing one lens, grabbing out, in this instance, our 6x, and you'll notice the lenses get longer as they get into a higher magnification. Taking it, again, putting it under there, threading it, tight, you don't have to use any massive amount of force, just a, a slight 30 degree turn and uh, you're ready to go. A standard microscope will have a lighting option, so you'll be either getting a fluorescent, uh, LED lighting array, or fiber optic lighting array. With the Mantis Compact here, your lighting array is built in. You've got your lighting panel right under there, which is definitely enough light for you to view your product. Um, when you look at uh, uh, microscopes and the light sources they come with and the masses of uh, light that they're throwing down on a board, you might look at this and say, well, geez, that's not an awful lot of light. I can tell you from just doing some, some checking with the boards that we have here, uh, you'll be amazed at the uh, amount of that light that is actually coming through the optical path and how clear and crisp that image is without it throwing a massive flooded area of light. Because this is LED, unlike the old Mantis units that are out there, we actually had a fan in there because I had to cool the bulbs off. There's no fan in here, it's completely silent. These bulbs are, uh, are guaranteed to last about 10,000 working hours, so it's a really uh, no need to be worrying about stocking spare bulbs or anything like that. Very quickly looking at the setup time on a Mantis Compact, Getting this unit out of the boxes that it comes in and getting it set up is a very simple setup process. Uh, the arm has a C-mount clamp in the back. Clamp that down to your bench top. This then slaps right on. And then back here, if you peel back this kind of neck area, you will see that there are two screws. Lock those in, attach your head, attach the power cable, and you're, you're off to go. Not to say that uh, a regular microscope doesn't take a very, very long time to set up, uh, but definitely in getting this one set up just in here, uh, total setup time is only about five minutes. If you have any other questions on the Mantis Compact, or if you are interested in its big brother, the Mantis Elite, we have a video for that. But if you do have questions after both of those videos, you are welcome as ever to give us a call or drop us an email. Thank you very much and happy soldering.